welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Lydia and this is my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Lydia Craig, also known by literally Lydia on YouTube. Um, and I make content about all different things, whether that's lifestyle, vlogs, and also I talk a lot about manifestation and law of attraction. So today I'm going to be doing my law of attraction favorite things and kind of how to get started within law of attraction. And actually you probably have already started in law of, attra law of attraction and you don't even know it. So um, I am a newbie kind of in the law of attraction world. I guess I could say like new-ish because I feel like I've been attracting things into my life my whole life, but I just wasn't, um, I didn't know that I was until probably the past year. I found law of attraction and manifestation um, about a year ago um, when I was in the middle of quarantine. Um, I think it was like May or June of last year of 2020 that I found that and I was just scrolling on TikTok and I found a creator named Haley Hoffman Smith um, who was talking about manifestation and all that kind of stuff and all the things that she had brought into her life through manifestation and law of attraction. So I thought, okay, well, if she can do it, so can I. So I started to manifest different things. Like I wanted a new job. I wanted a permanent job. I wanted a dog. I wanted just different things into my life. So yeah, so it kind of started with that. And slowly over the past year, I've really grown a lot through manifestation and affirmations and law of attraction um, but to break it down for you um, <laughs> I first started out with affirmations using the think up app and I'll kind of insert a video of what the app looks like that I use um, so the think up app is where you record yourself saying different affirmations and then you play them on repeat um, so I just have the free version of this app I probably will upgrade it soon and I use it pretty much every morning I have like thousands of minutes I've listened to thousands of minutes of me speaking out my affirmations and it really just starts my day off on the right foot I play it every morning I normally set an alarm 10 minutes before I'm up and up and need to be ready for the day so I set it for 10 minutes and I just kind of lay in my bed and just kind of wake up slowly um, so yeah so you I've used that app for a long time now and it really is a great app and I've used it for so long and I really have noticed a difference in starting my day off on a positive note. The next thing that I've really done that I really liked is join different mastermind groups. So I think overall I've been in one, two, three, four different mastermind groups for my manifestation, two through Haley Hoffman Smith and one through Manifestation Babe, also known as Catherine Zankina. Um, I have really enjoyed those programs. Some are just a month long, some the one that I'm currently in is a year long. Focuses everything so I can like focus on what I want my month to look like, what I want my year to look like, and beyond what my goals are and what I want to manifest into my life. I actually have been able to manifest like certain things that I never thought I would do or get into my life. So that part is really great. I've done different courses, which I think are definitely like a financial investment, but the ones that I've done like aren't super expensive or pretty affordable. So I very much really enjoyed those. And another thing that I've done is read so I've read a lot of different books this year every night before bed I like to read even if it's five pages ten pages I like to read a book um, so some of my favorites for manifestation money business all that kind of stuff that I really think like try to up level me to the next level is the first one that I read that I really liked was you are a badass I read this a few years ago but I picked it up again you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life so this one is really good. I love this so much. <laughs> I've highlighted so much in this book and I like to like write it down and like do that. And there's a lot of like different questions and problem solving things that you have to, well you don't have to, but you should do within this book. She poses you a lot of questions and it really just kind of firms up where you want to go in life. And then by the same author, You Are a Badass at Making Money. I'm about halfway through this book. It is such a great book and it really, um, is great for someone especially if you're in your 20s and you want to make more money or anybody this is such a great book and i've really enjoyed the lessons that i've learned from this book next we have big money energy this is by ryan sernhart Sirhan. um so it's how to rule at work dominate in life and make millions he was on um uh bravo's million dollar listing and he has another book too um, but it's all about the mindset on how to make more money it's not really technically about real estate but he provides a lot of his examples through real estate um, but it's really great if you want to make more money again or just be able to live at a higher vibration and a higher frequency i really like this book a lot and then the next book on my list is um, Untamed by Glennon Doyle. 
Um, so this one I'm really excited to read, um, but it's next on my list after I finish Big Money Energy. So, um, yeah, so I've really enjoyed and I've read so many more this books this year. I think I've read eight or nine books so far and it's only May. So I've really enjoyed reading and I find it so calming and I really get to like sit down and focus and learn a lot, which is great, especially because I find now that I'm, I'm not a student anymore. I find it really hard not to be able to learn as much. Like I still learn within my job, but it's really great to be able to learn um, from different authors who have it all figured out. Um, so yeah, so that's a really great part. I definitely recommend all of these books. Well, the three that I've re read so far and I'm reading this one next. There's so many great books. And I also have an Audible membership that I use. I listen to books on there as well. Sometimes when I'm working and I'm just kind of doing mundane tasks, I'll uh, put my AirPods in and just kind of listen to books. I've listened to Girl Boss. I've listened to Atomic Habits. And I've listened to Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. That one is really good too. So yes, so I've really been enjoying listening and reading books. I've always loved that, but it's really nice to be able to do that now. And then the next thing that I really like to do is tapping. Um, so I'm actually new to tapping. I've probably only done tapping for two months now. Eh, maybe three months, two to three months. And I found that it has really made a huge difference in my life. Um, and especially like remaining calm and like trying not to be as anxious and all that kind of stuff. So I do, I try to do a tapping video every day or every other day. And I currently am just watching Brad Yates on YouTube, which I'll insert a screenshot of what his channel looks like. He has so many great videos um, and they're all free as well. Um, you can also go to different tapping specialists, um, but I haven't done that yet. Um, just because it's a financial <laughs> incentive um, to do it. But I've really just been enjoying the free videos that Brad Yates has. He has so many different ones um, about all different things, like how to make more money, how to remain calm, how to up level your life, and even how to like remain calm in times of like uncertainty, like during the pandemic and all that kind of stuff. So I find his videos are really great as well. Um, I'm sure there's other free YouTube videos that you can watch for topping, but I find Brad has just such a great um way about his videos like they're very calming and i find he really just like speaks and i listen and um i have noticed a really huge um difference with how i am after i watch one of his videos i would definitely recommend that you check his youtube channel out i will have it linked below um, because i really do like his videos um another thing that i do is every day i write down three things i'm grateful for three things i'm manifesting and just different actions that I've taken that day to advance myself in the way of my goals and my dreams. Just my iPad, I'll insert a clip here, um, but I just use my iPad and I go through and I write down things that I'm grateful for. I just have templates on my iPad and I just write them down with my Apple Pen. But before that, I always just used um, a notebook. So this is my manifestation notebook. It's it says this is the dream and it's just purple it's leather bounded and i love writing in this it's my favorite little notebook um and i just got it at indigo and another app that i really like to use is the secret app so on the secret app you can write down things that you're grateful for they give you affirmations that you can speak out loud which is great because i like to do that um and i have timers set throughout the day so i can take a moment just to be grateful for so at 7 a.m., 11 a.m., and then at 6 p.m. normally is when I do those. Sometimes I miss them, um, but if I, <laughs> sometimes it's a good little nod to just take a moment and say what you're grateful for or say an affirmation. Um, I know it kind of sounds dumb, but really has made a huge difference in my life just being able to take a moment and be positive um, and just kind of even if things are going bad or even if things are going great it just gives you a second to like collect your thoughts and just like really try to push forward how you want to be and how you want to act and how you want your day to continue the next thing that i like to do which is a little woo woo or whatever but you can do whatever you want i do hypnosis so through the programs that i talked about earlier um one of the people that i'm learning from actually does hypnosis as part of her training and I have been hypnotized many times before um, <laughs> in high school and in university I was hypnotized um, but more of like a funny hypnotize 
hypnotization and I get hypnotized so easily. I am definitely very susceptible to hypnosis, um, but these are just guided hypnosis um, that just try to help you with visualization and where you want to go in your life and where, what you want to be and all that kind of stuff. So I've definitely seen a huge improvement, but if you don't want to do that, which totally fine, you do you. Um, another thing that can put you in a really high vibe situation, so get you kind of vibrating a higher level um, and pushing you towards who you want to be is listening to positive videos, positive movies, different things like like that. You can even have college commencement speeches. Will Ferrell has a good one. Oprah Winfrey has a good one. Michelle Obama has a good one. And really just like that inspirational message of who you want to be. And another really easy one to do is Pinterest. I actually have a lot of different vision boards on Pinterest. So anytime I'm on Pinterest and I'm scrolling through, I pin different pictures that really speak to where I want to be. So I really want to go to Hawaii this year, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if the borders will open up between Canada and the US. But I really I really want to go to Hawaii so I pin a bunch of pictures I'll put them all right here <laughs> different beaches and different things like that coconuts surfing all that kind of stuff so I pin that kind of stuff and then different houses because I'd like to buy a house soon I don't know when but um, it'll come whenever it's ready to come to me um, so yeah so I post different pictures of houses like I want a big white bright kitchen and just like different things that really motivate you before I got my dog Frank I'll insert a photo here of Frank um, I actually manifested him and the dog that I had on my Pinterest board looks exactly like Frank did when we received him. It was crazy. He even had like a little white patch right here and was black face and had white and black body. Anyway, it was crazy how I manifested that dog literally right down to the specifics of him. When you're manifesting, make sure you are specific on what you want because sometimes the real specifics actually do arrive. Um, like Frank, <laughs> he looks exactly like the dog that I was manifesting on Pinterest. So, hey, what can I say? Anyway, I love using Pinterest. I find it so motivating and it's a really great social network kind of thing, social media account. Um, and if you want to, you can follow me on Pinterest. My Pinterest name is at Lydia Craig, I think it is. I'll have it linked down below if you want to see kind of some of my Pinterest boards. I have like vision boards. So I really hope you liked my law of attraction, manifestation, affirmations, kind of my t tips and tricks um, to really how you can get started with law of attraction. It really isn't difficult. I started with one thing, like I said, affirmations, and then writing down in this notebook um, different quotes or where I wanted to be or just different things like that on how I was going to um, kind of up level my life and make different things happen for me um, but it really isn't that difficult start small and then as you get better you can grow and ask for bigger things from the universe um, whether that's money relationships love anything like tangible things like like I manifested this camera that I'm filming on I really it's it's not that difficult to do you just really have to believe that you can do it and um, almost forget that you're going to. So to manifest, you really just need to ask the universe for what you want um, and really get clear on what you want. And then kind of forget about it for a little bit, write it down, say it out a few times, and then kind of forget about it. And then sometimes it just shows up and sometimes you forget that you actually manifested that. Um, but really it's just about kind of up leveling your life and trying to become the better version of yourself through growing and spirituality or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so I really hope that you like this video. If you like it and you think someone else might like it, a friend, family member, whatever, share it with them, share them the link. Um, but you have, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really hope you liked today's video um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to.